But before we go, we want to take a look at uh, these. Uh, they're almost 4,000 years old, there they are, and someone in the northwest found boxes full of them in their loft. They thought they were cheap tourist souvenirs, but in fact, it's turned into a very important discovery. We're going to have the whole collection here in our studio in Northwest tonight at 6.30 this evening. Hope you'll be able to join us for that. In the meantime, have a really good afternoon. Bye-bye. Now, ah, take a look at these. They're all around, wait for it, two to 4,000 years old. And until very recently, they lay in boxes in someone's loft in Cheshire. The family that owned them thought they were cheap tourist souvenirs brought back from Cyprus about 50 years ago. But when this man was invited to look at them, he knew they were much more important than that. He's James Baum, an amateur archeologist who's now taking care of the collection on behalf of the owners. Uh, first of all, James, just, just tell us what we've got here. Here we've got a range of pots, we think um, dating from the early Bronze Age here, which is around about 2,500 BC, through to the Iron Age, onto the Roman side as well. And we've got a mixture of cups, feeding bowls, wine bottles and oil flasks. And these which are funerary items which would hold the oil that would anoint the body. Once they'd anointed the body, they'd put the stop into the bottle and lay it next to the body within a tomb, we think. And how much would you say they were worth? Historically, they're absolutely priceless. For a right. cash value, that would be very difficult at this moment to give. Right. Uh, they need to be looked at by the experts. Um, as a collection, right. they're, they're just, very... Just n tell us where they were found. They were found in Cyprus. Now, I've done some research as to how they ended up in, in Britain. And from what I can tell, the owner who's passed them on to me at the moment, he has relatives going back to the 40s and 50s who were builders and were working in Cyprus. Now, the theory we've both come up with is that they were digging the footings for a hotel right. and we think they were going down 30 or 40 feet into the limestone and it seems like they've crashed into tombs now various tombs because we've got Roman material which would have been nearer to the surface and then we've got all the other periods running backwards in time right and, and so how did they get over here from the tomb to the loft what happened again as we can assume at the moment is that in about 1958 these were gifted to the donator's father and his father was a collector an avid collector of everything um, and he brought them back to Britain. Right. So. And, and, and when the son found them in the loft uh, quite recently, he had no idea of just what he'd found, had he? None whatsoever. He just asked me, did I know anything about pottery? Um, and I said, I'll take a look. He thought they were tourist pieces that may have been brought back in the 50s, replicas in effect. Uh, I took one look at the box and was absolutely astounded. Uh, and do we have a problem here with the Cyprus authorities when they find out that these were removed from a tomb and brought over to the northwest? That was a worry of the donator, but. In 1970, law was brought out that antiquities couldn't be transported across Europe or the world without an export license. 1958 keeps them in the clear, so no, they're a very valuable collection. And and what's going to happen to them now? I'm going to make sure that they get exhibited. The gentleman that gave them to me gave them to me on the basis that I would let people see them and let them be seen by everybody because the history is there and people love history, so museums, libraries will be the initial sort of places we put them. And as an archaeologist, I mean, how important is this find? Oh, it's extremely important, nationally and possibly internationally. So, you know, who knows, the Cypriots may be very interested in this find, and it's their heritage at the end of the day, and it would be lovely to be able to return it to them. James, fascinating stuff. Thank you very much indeed for coming in and talking about it. It's a pleasure, thank you. Thank you.